Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Belfast, ahead of Jay Harris's fight with Paddy Bonds. How are you, sir? Yeah, really good, mate. Yeah, good. I'm glad the press conference is done now. Just waiting on the way now and fight Friday. So. Well, well let's talk about the press conference. I mean, there's definitely no animosity, no bad blood, no nothing between you and Paddy. We're just going to expect a very tough, grueling fight between the two of you. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, no bad, but uh, bad blood at all. Um, no, I totally respect Paddy. I hope he respects me in the same way. Um, yeah, he invited me over to spa back last year now for, for his Rosales fight. And when Danny gave me a phone call, I, I went straight up for the week. And um, he took me out, he treated me kind and everything, took me out for dinner and everything. So the Paddy pay? Yeah, he did. <laughs> that's, <laughs> he a, that's, did. A, that's a start. Yeah. That's a first thing. He doesn't pay for first. No, yeah, he's, he's a good guy, he's a good guy, Paddy. Yeah, so he looked after us. Good. Yeah, really good. I mean, obviously, you, you, people don't read too much at the spa, and you're probably more mess in the spa, but both sides are saying it was a good competitive spa, so could yeah. you, would that relate to the fight, do you think, we're going to have a good competitive fight? Possibly, yeah. It was a really, really good spa. Both, the both times we spa, the 12 rounds, like, really, really hard spa, really good, fast pace, so I think it's going to be like that on Friday as well. <laughs> but anyway, talk to you about this Belfast crowd. I mean, I was there for your fight against Moreno in Cardiff. Uh, obviously, Belfast crowds are well known, they know their boxing. I mean, yeah. you must have heard about the dogs to hall, it's sort of like a York Hall when yeah. London do a box to York Hall. Yeah, boxing York Hall comes It's to similar it. to that, so what kind of night are you expecting on Friday? Are you expecting loud. a hostile night? Loud, yeah. hostile? Loud. Yeah, um, no, it, it comes with it, doesn't it? He's, he's the home, home fighter, he's well known in, in Belfast, so I'm, so I'm expecting that, that the crowd to be bouncing, to be honest. But um, I've brought about 40 boys, they, they'll be singing their hearts out anyway. The, the boys are they're coming over to support me, but you just see, oh, yes. yeah, they, they're going to be loud, and they it doesn't matter. It's only me and Paddy in the ring at the end of the day, there's no one else in the ring, so well, it's an old Celtic class. I mean, you can't get more than that. Oh, so, Welshman and Irishman, so um, Paddy Barnes, I mean, he's done everything as an amateur. You, you yeah. mentioned that press conference, three Olympic Games, yeah. Com Commonwealth gold medalist, two times Olympic bronze medalist. What does that do for your career to have somebody like Paddy's name on your record? Oh, it's massive, isn't it? Well, after this now, as they mentioned in the press conference, the winner of this goes under World Honours. So to have someone as big as name as Paddy Barnes on, on the record, it, just, it means a lot, doesn't it? And it, it gets you up the, the rankings that a little bit quicker, I think. Seeing that you've got Paddy Barnes on your record, it gets it knocks you up a couple of mm. uh, peg or two, doesn't it? So I'd uh, be happy. I, I spoke to Paddy. Paddy doesn't really care much about the IBF and the Continental title. I mean, Paddy's mind's probably on that world title. What does that IBF and the Continental? Do, do you mind? Does every belt means something to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's your right. Every every belt that I fought for, it means something. This um, as an amateur, I didn't get I didn't get to the Commonwealth Games or the, the European Championships or anything like that. So to fight for this as a pro and win win them. So every every belt counts for myself. I I just take take it all the time. Every belt is massive to me. So it was well, it's known as a ranking belt. Yeah. I mean you mentioned the World Honours type thing. I mean yeah. the flyweight divisions is a lot of people don't really respect it. I don't know if respect's the right word, but the, the lighter divisions they don't get much notice if you say it's, that but they're starting to get a little bit yeah, that's now. What I mean, yeah, a, yeah. a lot of people are starting to watch watch the flyweights now which is which is good because we're exciting fighters I think. It's just, you think there's more skill involved in these flyweights? It's a lot faster, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot a lot of fast punches and and it's a high paced paced fight. That's that's the way we train. But um, yeah, we sh we deserve to get the recognition as so, so why do people like heavyweights then? Knockouts. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's just a knockouts. I think, it, but as you say, people will pay like hundreds and hundreds of pounds for two rounds, and you could have a flyweight fight that could be like could possibly what me and Paddy are going to do now Friday, if two, ten rounds of, in alpha level. Like, do you know what I mean? So I'd rather watch one of them fights in two seconds of one fight. You said it definitely. Um, I mean, we just talk about the flyweight division there. We've just seen Charlie Edwards move up. He fought a tough fight against yeah. uh, Martinez. Martinez. Yeah. You've got a young guy called uh, Mohamed Wasim, who's yeah. obviously doing his thing. He fought against uh, Martin, the IBF champion that yeah. you're going to be going for. So, when you're looking at the division right now, the bigger names, obviously, all going well for you with Paddy Barnes. Is there, obviously, the IBF route, but is there anyone in particular that like, you're looking at the rankings in right now and being like, I'd love to fight him in that governing body or that governing body or whatever, or just whoever's in front of you? No, there's, there's no one really. I just like, oh, I, I want to fight that fella. I just, 
I just leave it lead done and Gary Log it they just take care of that and they whatever they put in front of me I just say yeah and I never say no anyway but I just say say yes and hopefully move up the rankings a little bit further. But um, no it doesn't really matter who I fight to be honest. So again going back to the Belfast crowd you just you as a as a good, are you nervous coming into this sort of cold run as people would say? Because obviously the crowd's going to be like 99 when you've got 40 boys yourself. But is there any anxiety, nerves there coming into something like this? Ah, oh, it's just going to be. I think it's going to be great. I do. Mm. It's it's be loud, isn't it? Every if you're going into someone's hometown, they're all going to be rooting for that person anyway, isn't it? So if Paddy was coming over to Wales, they, he'd be coming in to my sort of area, wouldn't he? It would be vice versa. So it doesn't really matter. I've been in loads of different places. I've been in York Hall, loads, loads of different places. I've even been booed in my own hometown. <laughs> when I was an amateur, I got, honestly, I went to one, one show in the river <laughs> and I was the away fighter. I got booed going in for that as well. So I was, did you win the fight? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but still, I, I got booed, but it was a good fight. Yeah. Um, but um, it doesn't really matter. I just take it. A face of fighters. Yeah, say, take it as they're not in the ring at the end of the day. It's just me and Paddy in the, in the ring, no one else. So what can the, the, the Belfast crowd expect from you on Friday night? I mean, obviously, we know they all know what Paddy brings, and uh, but they might not have seen you fight before. So what do you bring to the table? Uh, sharp, explosive fight. I think um, I'm very aggressive, but I can also box if if, if need be. But um, yeah, it'll be exciting. Well, Paddy mentioned that. Paddy mentioned that you're a come forward fighter, and that's what Paddy does. So, I mean, he said your, your gels are going to match. Uh, gel, yeah. your, your gels are going to match. Your the styles are going to gel well, aren't they? So yeah, this, this this should be it. Should be should be very entertaining. I would thought. Definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So what's the plans from now on? I mean, weigh in tomorrow. Weigh in and eat. Eat. <laughs> you're looking forward to some food. I mean, to be fair, you've got a smile on your face. So you, yeah, it looks like you're doing the weight right. Yeah, um, yeah, we've done the wait pretty good to be honest. Um, we I've come over here. I was only been I was only four ounces over when when I got here. So I'll probably just do a little run or something later on. Walk the walk the food off and I should be bang on weight tomorrow. Definitely. Well, I won't keep you much longer. We'll let you crack on with the rest of your day. Lovely. Thanks for this so close to the way. And <laughs> I've got to thank you so much for this. But again, no thanks for this. Five, yeah, IFL TV, dude. Thank you so much, buddy. No problem. Thank you.